Hey everyone, it's Gem and Jess, and today in this video I'm going to be doing a whip and chat, aka a work in progress and chat. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, then welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Get to Know Me Better Part 2. I did a video about six months ago um, answering 50 random questions about myself, and I'm going to be pretty much doing that again in this video since in the last video, everyone pretty much commented that they wanted me to do a Part 2 when I asked if I should do one. So, speaking of that, um, I'm going to take you guys with me to go check the mail. Because, um, not just because I'm doing this Get to Know Me Better thing, but because I really just don't want to be more myself. I think the weirdo crazy neighbor is outside. So if anything, I can just act like I'm on the phone or something, you know? So let's, I'm gonna uh, put the camera over. First off, I look like a bug second off in these glasses. Why did I buy these? And third off, yeah, let's go do this little uh, post office or mailbox field trip, whatever. Okay, see you in a little bit, bye. All right guys, ready? Let's go. Welcome to the ghetto. <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks so bad. Okay, so we are in the process of remodeling my deck slash pores. So don't judge me with all this crap around here. I promise you. This isn't my everyday life. So. My little garden. That looks like crap right now. Oh my gosh. My babies. They're not growing. Look what my boyfriend did. He leveled this whole thing out one day. The whole day. I swear he smokes crack. Anyways, okay, we are going to check the mail. Yeah. <laughs> What's that song called? Uh, City of Compton. <laughs> Just kidding. If only. It is such a nice, warm, beautiful day. Why is my like, um, Seems like my filter's off. I don't even know if I have a filter on, but it's starting to get dark, so. This is where I live. So sad. This is my life. Okay, this is my mailbox. We're finally here. My bad. My sister's always calls me at the wrong time. I'm not gonna show you which number my mailbox is in case you somehow figure out where I live. Can you tell I'm, I'm a felon? I'm always paranoid. Oh, look, I got mail. You got mail. Shut up, you stupid ass dog. Sorry, guys, I really do love dogs, but I don't like these ones. All right, let me lock this baby up. I think I have my finger on the phone, or on the camera. Okay. I'm going, going. Can you guys see? Oh no, you can't because I'm staring at the ash folder pointing at it. <sighs> Talk your shit, dog. I don't see the crazy neighbor, thank God. At least not yet. This is his house. Yeah, real cute, huh? Not that I'm the one to talk, but like... Yeah, I'm not going to show you what my house looks like because it's really not that much of an upgrade, but it's definitely not a trailer you can just hop on the back of your truck and leave. You guys, my garden looks pathetic. Where's my little sprout? I'll show you a little picture of it in a clip. Okay, I'm going to go back to my house, back to the diamond painting land. Bye, guys. And I'm back, except it's now like 1130 at night where I'm at. Thank you guys for going to check the mail with me. Even though you weren't physically here with me, I still felt like you were there with me, which made me feel safer, um, if that makes sense. I hope so. But yeah, I'm going to get to the whip and chat part. I hope you can hear me good enough. I had to take my microphone out because it's messing up, of course. I've only used it like three times and it doesn't work now. Um, so if you can't hear me that well during this video, please let me know in the comments so I can fix it for next time. Um, <coughs> Yeah, so let's get to the whip and chat part. Um, I'm going to do a get to know me better part two and three. This is going to be two because I have to make it short tonight because I started this video a little late. I had already filmed the part one of this video, or I mean the first part of this video last night, but then my sister called and told me some crazy news, which I'll tell you in a little bit. Um, 
but yeah, real quick, I actually did get some mail when, as you saw, when I went to go check it. Let me put this on real fast so I don't have to deal with it when we, or when I start talking. This is my mesh ruler square shape, by the way, in case anyone was like, what is that? Um, I don't diamond paint without these rulers because otherwise it would be a hot mess. So yeah, I'll get that out of the way. Okay. But yeah, let's see what I got in the mail. I mean, it was mostly bills that I um, am not going to pay. <laughs> but I got this little present. I'm going to lift this camera up real fast. Just a tiny bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I got a little gift. And it says, thank you for supporting my small business. So let's see what it is. If I can get it open. I need to throw this knife away. What a piece of crap. Oh my gosh. I can't even open it with this knife. Like, that's how we get dull it is. That's going in the trash. Alright, let's open this. What did I get? Oh, it is the. I think it is. Let me double check. Ooh, we got a sticker with a little kitty on it. A little fat kitty. So freaking hilarious and cute. Love it. Okay, this is from Pretty Placer Wax Gems. So Pretty Placers, the shop on Etsy. I'll link it down below in the description box as long as, or as long. Also with the painting or where you can get this painting and all the accessories I'll be using in this video. So I finally wanted to try because usually they have these little like crayons, wax crayons, where you just like pick up the bead and put it on the thing. But I have one, but I didn't really like it, but people have been kind of raving about these, um, what are they called again? Wax gems lately. And I got the McDonald's sweet tea. <laughs> That's freaking cute, isn't it? It's hilarious. It cracks me up. It reminds me of my mom, because my mom, while I was growing up, always would order that from McDonald's every time. Ooh. And it kind of does smell like the sweet tea. Isn't that pretty? It's got like glitter on it and stuff. We're going to see how this works today. I want to try this out. But I'm going to do it backwards like that. Okay. So yeah, that's what I got in the mail. Thanks guys for going with me again. <laughs> Alright. Um, can I turn this on or is this too much? Oh wow. That's like way too much. Sorry guys. This light pad is the best, but it's also like insanely bright. Um, okay. Thank you uh, Pretty Placers. Can't wait to try this wax, see how it is. But I definitely, I'm not gonna lie, I'm way more down for the putty, especially recently. That's all I've been using is putty. All right, so the canvas I'll be working on is Venus by the artist Maria Abagnelli from Treasure Studios Art. This canvas is a size 55 by 70 centimeter and the image looks like this. Where is it? That dog does not stop barking, I swear. I hope you guys cannot hear that annoying dog. So yeah, it's like cactuses and butterflies. And the reason why I'm doing this uh, canvas is because I am entering, or I entered the diamond painting event, um, Too Hot for Summer Diamond Painting. And it is still not too late to uh, enter your canvas if you want to do the event. There's three categories you can be placed in like I think it's most light biggest painting completed and most images completed you can do more than one canvas the canvas can't be a work in progress it has to be a registered or a registered a licensed image and it has to be um, submitted the painting has to be in submitted by August 10th and how you do that is you I will put the link and everything down below to get a hold of her um, patriotic team either DM her on Instagram or join the fa her Facebook group and message her. Um, she has all the rules and all that stuff on there, okay? But yeah, like, she's one of my really good friends in the community, and it's her first ever event, so I had to support her. Um, and this was, like, the last, um, or, yeah, the only really sexy image I had it has to be, like, a sexy adult theme m image, you know? So I was like, alright, well, I guess, um, I'll do this one, so... Uh, yeah, that's the thing I'm doing, the image I'm doing, and, um, the trays, of course, I'll be using Bella Art de Nicole, my neon green, lime green one, obsessed, love it. Um, we are going to be trying this 
gem wax or uh yeah wax gems from pretty placers and in case i'm not feeling it i'm going to be using <clears throat> excuse me this new putty that i've been using um that i like it's called i think it's called Rhonda's crafty corner over on etsy sorry if i'm saying your name wrong um but it's bubblegum scent. It's basically just like Quick Hold Museum Wax, but it is scented. And I got the bubblegum and it smells bomb. It's like a mess right now, so I'm kind of embarrassed to show you it. But So yeah, if I'm not really digging how this is working, I'm going to use this. Um, so yeah, oh, and I'll be using my pretty ten tinsel pen that I got um, from Stacy over at MP Creative Design over on... There is somebody outside that is pissing me the fuck off. Sorry, <laughs> adult language in this video. Um, it's making the dog bark and it's pissing me off. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, this was turned by Stacy over at MP Creative Design over on Facebook. Like I said, all these links will be down below in the description box in case you're interested. Isn't that freaking gorgeous? The blank is from Cocoon Blanks. I just uh, showed it off in the last video I posted, the Diamond Painting Pen Stash Part 2 video. And the tip, this tip is from Lexi Lily Crafts. It's a 3D printed diamond painting pen tip. And this is just like the brass normal pen tip that diamond painting pens normally come with. So yeah, I'll be using that and my mesh ruler. So what color do I want to start with right now? It will be, it will be, let it be Z. Let's do Z. Um, Z is DMC 677. Okay, so I'll be starting with that one lots of it it's like a light peach color um let me fill up this pen oh shoot what do i do with my book oh it's right here <laughs> i gotta have my book okay anyways i hope everyone had a great week this week by the time i post this or last week maybe i don't know if i'm gonna post this monday or tomorrow uh it has to be before the 10th so probably tomorrow but um yeah so anyways regardless i hope everyone had a great week this week Hope everybody was safe and had fun and all of that jazz and um yeah i dude i had like the worst week i had a toothache from hell for four days um what else happened to me um it was so bad i didn't eat for three days so i didn't eat for three days and all i could do was sleep and then of course finally like the fourth day I started to kind of feel a little better my dad surprised me for my birthday he showed up I'm like oh great like thanks dad but of course you had to show up the day like I look like Skeletor because I'm all sucked up from not eating for a long time and um yeah but it was cool because I got to see my dad and we visited and um let's try this wax I gotta clean this part out um you know and all that stuff so it was really good to see him because I haven't seen him <sighs> Oh my gosh for like months but um yeah it was really nice to see my dad so we visited um let me scrape this wax in here let's try this baby out right here yeah it smells so good i've been using putty for so long i forgot how to do the wax for a second um yeah so that was cool but then i had a migraine for two days after that like what the f dude like i I was sick pretty much all week. That's why I didn't really post last week, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I wasn't falling back into a, a, a mood, if you know what I mean, but uh, I was just feeling like crap. Um, and I've been super busy. I've been de-stashing de a lot of my stuff. I still have so much to get rid of, but I have sold a good amount, I will say, of like patty wax that I didn't want. You know, pen. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of a lot more pens, but nobody seems to want them, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I have so much craft stuff too to get rid of, like flat back rhinestones and beads and craft glue, glitter glue, like all this stuff. So if you guys um, who's watching this would like to buy or get some stuff or might be interested in getting some stuff that I have that I'm really trying to get rid of, like literally 80% of it or if not 95% of it is brand new stuff. Like I haven't used any of it. So... I mean, and I'll hook you guys up, especially if you're a subscriber. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> but yeah, get at me, Jim and Jess at gmail.com if you guys would like to see um, stuff I really need to get rid of. 
But yeah, so I've been busy either sick or trying to de-stash my crap, which I haven't even gone half gotten halfway through that, which sucks. But ugh, this wax smells so bomb, I will say that. Okay. But yeah, so that's why I didn't really post that much last week or this week, whatever. Um my apologies. So um what else? Let's see here. Yeah, um, so before I start the questions thing, like, dude, I totally got a f gnarly phone call last night. So my sister called me, let me, um, shake, 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 shake your booty. Isn't that, I love that. Just an image to be seen. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, but yeah. Um, my sister called me hella late and I was like, dude, what the heck? And I knew something was wrong. My sister never calls me late. Like it was like 1.30 her time, I think like, and it was like midnight or past my time. I don't remember, but yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? So I answered, of course, and I was like, what's up? And she's like, dude, so she tell proceeds to tell me my nephew is in the hospital. She had to get life flighted with him to Denver because she lives in Colorado and, but she lives like an hour and a half away from Denver. I was like, what? Oh my god, what happened? And I'm freaking out because he just got his leg in. My nephew just got his little leg amputated not too long ago, you know? Well, check this out. So they had him in a body cast, like halfway down. It's like from his belly button all the way down to his toes, you know? Like it's half of his body is casted or whatever. So I guess it had... Uh, it formed a pressure wound. It wasn't tight enough. So basically, long, long story short, it formed a pressure wound and it was so loose enough that my nephew was able to unhinge his leg or like get his leg to move around to where it unlocked his hip because he had surgery on his hip too. His hip joint was uh, either replaced or removed. I don't remember. I think it was replaced with an artificial joint, but... So he got his leg loose somehow in the cast to where it was scraping. And you know baby skin, it's like super soft. Like, anybody knows baby skin is soft as hell. So imagine you, like, having baby skin. You're a baby. Or, or, well, he's not a baby, okay? He just turned three. To me, he's a baby because he's, like, you know, had all these medical issues and stuff. And, you know, he just is, like, always going to be my little baby <laughs> nephew. But anyways, imagine having a soft skin like that and then scraping it against the cast over and over and over like this poor kid it got so bad it the skin was scraped all the way down to the bone you guys so I guess my sister thank god my sister's on top of her game because she was uh she was noticing like he slept all all through the night to noon the next day and like he just turned three years old that is not normal right like she and she's like he doesn't have a fever but he was clammy so I knew something was wrong so she called the nurse and she said, you know, his, you know, you press the finger, it's pink. Like, you know, she, he doesn't have a fever, but he's clammy. He's sleeping a lot. She's like, well, she's like, I, I'm really worried because what you're telling me, it seems like a sign of some infection, you know? Um, and I really would feel better if you just took him to the ER and at least just get a checkup in case something's wrong. My sister's like, okay, well, she said while they were getting the car, he had diarrhea and he had just been weaned off his pain meds. So she thought that, like, he was just miserable or sleeping a lot from the weaning off the pain medication, you know? Um, she thought, like, he needed more pills or he was just, like, feeling like crap because he didn't have pain meds anymore, right? So she, he had diarrhea in the car, I guess. So she had to change the diaper and she said she smelt this de the smell of death. And I hope none of you knows the smell, but if you ha do know the smell, you know what I'm talking about. It is gnarly, the smell of death, right? She's like, it smelled so freaking bad, like an animal had died in his body cast. She's like, but I couldn't really, see, like, you can't see, like, you can't take the body cast off. You can't look in it. Like, so yeah, she's like, dang, dude. So she, she took note of that in her head, went to the hospital and told the doctors about it. And they had smelt it too. Well, sure enough, they start to cut the body cast a little down by his butt crack. And they see a, a, a little white packet fluid, like fluid packet forming underneath like his skin a little bit basically it looked like an abscess so they're like oh shit you guys got to go to the denver uh air flight to the hospital so they flew her to the hospital she's like what the hell totally unprepared didn't have her phone charger didn't have her wallet nothing you know because the hospital's like really close to her house so they get there finally they start cutting the cast off to where boom because 
they noticed the smell too and there was no way it was from the back like a little you know a liquid pocket that's filling up in his skin like that's not what's causing the smell of death so they cut it off and sure enough by the time they get to his leg uh obviously the one that's not cut <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, his skin was off to the bone. He had scraped it. Um, thank God my sister took him when she did, man. If it would have been another day, they said he could have possibly been, like, dead. His heart rate was already getting lowered because of the infection. He was infect. it was obviously infected because, yeah, he scraped his whole freaking skin off the leg, you know? So, I was just like, oh my gosh, these... You know, my dad was pissed when we told him. He's like, these effing doctors, if they would have done it right the first time, how did he even get his leg out like that? You know, my dad's just like going off freaky. I'm like, dad, chill. Shit happens, dude. You know, like, but yeah, I mean, dude, like what a nightmare. Oh, and then, but he's, he's good right now. Um, he, the doctors are come, uh, were, came at 630 in this, this morning, I guess her time. And, um, can you guys even see what I'm doing? No. My bad, you guys. Let me see if I can. There you go. Is that better? This isn't even on autofocus, is it? Hold on one second. I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I did just do a different camera app. It was not cooperating. I hope you guys can see a lot better now. This is going to focus. Are you focusing? Okay, it's focusing. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, it was just crazy. Um, but yeah, he was, he's going to go into surgery this morning. They're keeping an eye on the liquid packet. They don't know for sure if it's an abscess yet. But if so, he's going to go to the OR immediately. And let me push this up a little. And uh, they're going to, you know, figure it out. But he's doing good. He's, you know, stabilized. He's not, he's back on the pain meds. So that's always a good thing, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, dude, freaking scared the crap out of me. Like, my poor sister, you know, going through that. And then she proceeds to tell me that wasn't it. She proceeds to tell me, um, oh, by the way, your un Uncle Larry has leukemia. Okay, so my Uncle Larry is so freaking cool. Like, he isn't my, like, direct uncle. He is my grandma's brother-in-law. Like, my dad's mom's brother-in-law. So I guess, like, my great un my great uncle? I don't know, but... He's freaking awesome. Like, he used to take me and my cousin Jeremy, who's just a little bit older than me, to Disneyland. And, like, he still always remembers that and tells the story. It's so funny. But he's just really cool dude, you know, like, laid back, just, like, super rad. And he's, like, in his late 60s, I think, or mid to late 60s, if not, like, almost 70. But you would never know. Like, he looks so good for his age. But, yeah, so I guess he got really sick. They took him to the doctor's or the hospital, and he had pneumonia. So, obviously, they're like, okay, you're stabilized, you're good, we, we got that handled, you know, with the pneumonia thing. To find out when the blood, because they had done some, you know, blood tests, that he has leukemia. Who gets leukemia that old? I, like, call me, like, I naive or, you know, ignorant, but I didn't know you could get leukemia, like, later in life like that. Like, that scares the crap out of me. I would understand cancer, but leukemia, like, I thought you got that when you were, like, maybe 30s 40s latest I don't know man I just for some reason I always maybe like just think of it like related to kids like younger kids getting it or like teenagers I don't know like I don't know much about it to be honest so I'm just gonna shut up before I sound even more stupid but yeah so I'm freaking bummed out like what like first my she tells me about my nephew and then now my uncle like what the hell is going on dude like so I don't know when they're getting the results with that they don't know what kind he has how bad it is and go figure his wife, my great aunt Jill, she has bone cancer. Like she had just beat breast cancer five years ago or so, I think. You know, we thought she was gonna die and then she beat it. Like she got two, you know, she got her chi chis cut off and everything. And she ended up beating it just for her to, for it to come back five years or so later and get bone cancer. And now she's kicking ass on that too. She's like, it's going away. So it just, Oh, it's crazy like what that and they've been married my whole life you know they've had the same house my whole life like it's like those those couples like my grandparents are the same way they they just celebrated I think their 55th wedding anniversary this year or 56th they've been together their whole lives pretty much you know and you don't see that anymore so it's like 
it's just really a beautiful thing to witness something like that in your life you know like seeing a couple be married because it's so freaking rare nowadays um so it just makes me sad because they're both now gonna be sick and like he was taking care of her they're super independent and it's like well damn who's gonna take care of them now like you know and you know how people are when like i know i would be like that like if i've been independent my whole life like even if I'm sick or not, you know, people are just super stubborn or, like, have a lot of pride and don't want to admit they're sick and need help. Like, you know, that's definitely how my Uncle Larry is. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this sucks, dude. When it rains, it pours, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, prayers for my great Uncle Larry, please, and my nephew. Like, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, yeah, now that I think about it, I think I'm just going to whip in chat for a little bit right now. Um, and then do the get to know me better questions part um i have no idea i'm just like putting drills down like i hope i'm doing the right one <laughs> this gem wax by the way is really good so far i really like it six i'm doing z right please tell me i'm doing z oh no okay good yes thank goodness okay guys i was doing the right one thank goodness <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna do the questions part um well, no, I, I can I can do some questions right now. Why not? I don't think Sammy's gonna... If he happens to come home in the middle of me filming, then I'll just edit it, I guess. I hope you guys will understand. <laughs> so, yeah. I retract what I was about to say. Anyways, prayers for my fam bam. I would appreciate it if you could. Thank you so much. Alright, so I'm gonna start answering some random questions that I um, hope will get my viewers, subscribers to get to know me a little better. So yeah, um, let's start. What is your favorite way to, no, I don't want to do that question. No one's dumb. Sorry. I don't even know why I would have wrote that down. Typical Jessica, right? Okay. What type of music are you into? I'm into, let me get some more drills. Everything, except I don't like gospel music. I, I don't like heavy metal where they're screaming and you don't understand what they're saying. I don't like, um, the new rap. I like I like rap music and hip hop and I love R&B, but the new stuff, um, <clears throat> no, I don't listen to Cardi B. I don't listen to, yes, I am a barb. Okay. I hate to admit it. Um, I love Nicki Minaj, but I don't listen to like any of the new hip hop. Like, you know, it, it's just not rap to me. Um, I just started listening to rap and hip hop actually like seven years ago, like very recent. Um, growing up, I listened to you know everything like 80s music especially that was like my first love um Alanis Morissette also Sublime also um I love the Killers I love 21 Pilots I love Doja Cat SZA um gosh I love everything pretty much I do like country too I like the 90s country though the most like the old George Strait and Kenny Chesney like early 2000s Kenny Chesney you know like yes like um i'm obsessed with madonna get into the groove album you know like um lately though i've been listening to a lot of doja cat uh 80s music and <coughs> a lot of uh 90s music like ace of bass do you guys remember ace of bass that's so funny growing up i was obsessed with nsync i went to their concerts and all that stuff i was an nsync uh super fan pretty much and Britney Spears I couldn't get enough of Britney Spears even up to the circus album like I will still listen to that album to this day to this day <laughs> but yeah so yeah I pretty much like everything except you know stuff you can't understand that makes your head hurt or slow like music um or gospel music like I I like Christian music like some Christian songs I like if especially if they're country but most of it, I'm just like, eh. When I listen to music, I want to, like, zone out. Not, like, I don't know. It's just not my thing. So, that's the type of music I'm into. Um, what's the best vacation you took and why? Oh, that's a hard one. I I have to see when I was 16, when I went to Hawaii. I went to Honolulu, Hawaii, and the Big Island. Um, Honolulu, Hawaii is in Oahu, in case you didn't know. Um... I went, my grandma took me for my birthday, my 16th birthday, because I was born there, so she wanted to take me back. We went for like a week, or no, I think it was like three or four days, but, oh, no, it was a week. I'm pretty sure it was a week. Um, 
but yeah, I got to see where I was born, like what hospital I was born at and uh, where I lived when I was a baby. And like we went to Hanama Bay where you get to swim with fish and turtles or go snorkeling with them. I saw the Pearl Harbor site. It was so eerie and sad. Like you still see the oil coming out of the ships that were bombed down in the ocean. Like it's creepy, dude. But it was like, it was like, what's that word? Um, where it's like sad, but it's also peaceful. I don't know. It was like really, really gnarly experience. Like it was surreal. That's the word I was looking for. It was really surreal, you know? Um, but yeah, so I had a, a so much fun. We we went to like the macadamia nut factory and I got to see the famous waterfalls. We stayed right next to the volcano in the big at the big island. There's like a volcano and there's little cabins like you could stay at. I literally was sleeping next to the volcano hole. Like I wasn't scared though. Oh, and we went on the speaking of volcanoes, we went on the lava tour where you go at night and you see the lava that's still flowing out of the volcanoes there. Dude, it was sick. You go at night and you see the lava it's so bright and like hits right at your feet. It is so trippy. But I had so much fun, except for the part when after the tour, I was like freaking out when there was like a little earthquake. I felt it. And I have this deathly fear. Like this, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, I'm so weird of tsunamis, dude. Like, I swear, I was like, get me out of here. Get me out of here. There's gonna be a tsunami. Like, Jessica, chill out. What is wrong with you? Like, my grandma was like, oh my gosh, you're embarrassed me. Shut up. You know, like, <laughs> it was so freaking hilarious. I look back on it now and it's so funny. But at the time, I was so freaking afraid it was gonna happen. Because we had just, of course, the day before, went through the town where the tsunamis hit, have hit like multiple times. And the, they've hit so many times there, the palm trees are permanently like bent, you know, like, so of course it's like already in, in my mind. I'm already deathly afraid of them. Like just making a jackass out of myself. But like of course the one time I come to, back to Hawaii, I'm freaking I'm gonna die in a tsunami. You know I'm so freaking dramatic. <laughs> Especially as a teenager, you guys did not want to know me then. But yeah, definitely the Hawaii vacation for sure. Um, what was your favorite age growing up? I'd have to say like 23, 24. Um, because I was just newly divorced definitely the best time of my life but definitely not the healthiest time of my life because I was a straight bar fly like I knew oh yeah it's you know two dollar Tuesdays like I knew which bar had those the good deals on which night of the week that's how bad I was it was almost like borderline alcoholic like I was bad and I was like just yeah I don't remember like 90% of it so I'm guessing I had a great time but oh and I was in the best shape of my life I was hiking and working out and like I don't want to sound cocky, but I was hot. Like, I seriously was fine as hell back then. Like, yeah, I just... Those were the days. And then I had to go screw it up with getting a stupid boyfriend that I had for four years. Total waste of time. But before I had the boyfriend and after I was divorced, yes. What I would give to go back to that time. Like, just for like a couple months. Like, that'd be tight, you know? <laughs> so yeah, probably 23, 24. Mid-20s, I guess. Um, let's see. What answer do I want, or what question do I want to answer next? Oh, okay, well, what, what was it like growing up as the oldest child in your family? Well, I'm going to get some more putty and wax, you guys. It sucked, to be honest. So, in my family, when my parents were married, because they divorced when I was like 13, I was the oldest. And even out of all my cousins, which lived like down the street from me, because my grandparents pretty much, uh, they raised all my cousins because they adopted them from my aunt and uncle who didn't take care of them. Um, I was the oldest out of all of them too. So there was five of us girls and then me and my sister, like in my immediate family. And like, it sucked because my sister got everything she wanted. I always got my butt beat. Um, I was always getting on restriction, like, I always had to get the good grades. Like, my dad was just a dick to me growing up. Like, I always had to go... Dude, he grounded me for a whole summer when I was in fourth grade because I got my first C. Who does that? Like, I was so butthurt. And my dad was so strict. Like, he was in the military. Like, dude, my life sucked growing up as a kid. Like, my... As being the oldest, especially. And my sister, even if I didn't do it, she would tell on me for something and I would always get in trouble for it. You're older. You should know better. You know, it was always the reason. Like... Okay, well, it's not my fault you had me first. Shit. You know, like, but yeah, I freaking hated it. Like, 
I don't know. It just sucked. Because I can never get away with anything. I mean, it didn't suck for, like, important reasons. It just sucked, like, at the time as a kid. Like, like I want to get away with stuff, too. Like, how come she always gets to have everything she wants? And, you know, but... So, yeah. That was what it was like for me growing up as the oldest. Um, let's see. Oh, do you and your family or a family member have nicknames for each other? Yes. Oh, my gosh. My dad is the king of nicknames, you guys. So, every other month he'd find a new one. But there's always been those ones that are permanent that me, my sister, my dad, and my mom always call each other to this day, you know? So, my sister is fly or bug. Mostly bug, like booger, but without the er. Um, <laughs> I know it's so weird. I don't know why my parents have called her that since she was a baby, but it stuck with her. Booger fly, bug fly, but mostly bug. And then um, I'm freak or eek because and my, my mom's dad and my grandpa uh, made it up for me because you know how my name, Jessica, Jess Ika. So they started calling me Ika and then it was Freaka Ika and now it's mostly eek like e-e-k like it's hilarious oh and my mom still calls me jesse bow she just i don't know why she always calls me jesse bow like okay and my mom me and my sister were so weird we call her paris and i think it's because my my dad used to call her pear because he'd say she was shaped like a pear <laughs> so and then me and my sister were little we're like dorks you know we're like paris paris you know so we still call her paris like it's hilarious like, even when I, like, talk to her on Facebook, I'll put the little Eiffel Tower uh, emoji up there, you know, like, on the message. It's hilarious to me. But, yeah, so Paris, Bug, Eek, and then, uh, or Eka, and my dad. I call him Lard <laughs> because he, and we just make fun of him because his body's so funny. He looks like a pregnant snake, we always tell him. So we call him Lard and we rub his stomach because he's got, like, a huge pot belly. But, yeah, we're really nice to each other, you know? <laughs> such a great loving family here so the next one is who in your family would you describe as a character sorry not sorry my uncle steve and that is my dad's sorry i'm getting more drills my dad's um only brother and my only uncle like immediate uncle because he is a character he's been in and out of prison his whole life um not that i'm judging at that of course he was never around growing up i was always afraid of him because he's like he was huge like tall muscular like and he was like scary like hello he has a white power tatted on his stomach like excuse me please do not be around me sir and like he left my cousins in diapers when they were babies in a hotel room him and baby mama my aunt lisa um to they just left to go to vegas and she st he started uh pimping her out basically for heroin like it was crazy dude so my the CPS called my grandparents like hey we have like these babies you know like so that's when my grandparents took them in and adopted them like and raised them their whole life you know it was like sad but he's a character because he's like one of those that's like when he gets out of prison or jail you know they do the jailbird talk like oh, I'm gonna change I'm gonna get my life together and then my grandma even to this day dude he's like dude he's so old okay he's like almost a, he's definitely a senior citizen like in a few years I'm just saying not like I'm not trying to hate but get your shit together he's still homeless on the streets doing drugs like and my grandma he's robbed my grandma three like two or three times of her wedding ring to where she'd have to go to the pawn shop and get a bag like yeah I mean I'm not trying to assassinate him like to the core right now but like he's definitely a character as in like he's the one in the family that I'll never trust and that you know you hear Uncle Steve's name, you know, if you're having a conversation in my family, we're like, oh, God, you know, we're just, like, roll our eyes, like, Jesus, what now, you know? It's sad, it sucks, but, like, yeah. That's, like, the one in the family that... The black sheep, I guess you could say, the character. Um, What's a relationship deal-breaker for you? <sighs> you know, I put up... I can put up with a lot because I am a lot... Luckily for the man that I choose to be with, yes, but, um, <laughs> not really. But, um, the one thing that I will not put up with, and that is infidelity. Like, I don't care how common it is nowadays, or, you know, I know, like, some women it isn't. <clears throat> like, oh, well, you know, he won't do it again, or, you know, or they just, like, act like it doesn't happen, as long as they're taking care of, like, especially, like, with rich like singers in the industry and stuff like they don't care about or like maybe basketball wives like they'll get cheated on and not care um 
as long as they're rich and get taken care of like no screw you and your money and everything about you like you mess around on me i'm gone like i'd rather be single anyways to be honest like i hate being in a relationship i really don't like it like it's a pain in the ass like you know but at the same time i love being in love you know so it's like ugh. but if you're gonna mess around on me trust i would rather be single in a heartbeat than be not the only one in your life you know what i'm saying so yeah definitely the cheating thing like it happens we're not a thing anymore and it's not gonna take any talking back or convincing me to come back nothing like i'm out ya and sammy knows this in case you guys were wondering he hasn't tried yet he's a so far a very smart man at least in that aspect <laughs> Cause I already told him I don't give it I do not care like don't go there homie trust because I will not be the one like your ex because um he cheated on his ex one time and he's like um and I was like yeah that's great she stuck around but don't expect the same thing from me because you are not that uh I feel like my pride or like what's it called my self-esteem and all that is good enough like to wear I'm so secure with how I am with myself that if someone doesn't want to be with just me, then I'm gone. And I'm totally fine with that. Matter of fact, I'm glad I found out sooner than later, you know, because I, I mean, I'm not going to say I've never been in a relationship where they haven't cheated on me because I have, especially when I was younger, I was really insecure and never thought I was good enough, you know? And after the last time I was done and I will never do it again. Sorry guys, I have to get a different color. Um, why? Why 166? Okay, I'm doing DMC 166 now. It's like a yellowish color. Okay, um, so yeah, that's that. Would you rather make money doing a job you hate or doing less money or make less money doing a job you love? Definitely making less money doing a job I love. And I wish more people thought like that because life is not about making money, being miserable and going to work every day, then you die. Like, I know that's how the higher-ups want us to live our life, but I feel like we need to start realizing that's not what we need to be doing. I know it's kind of like a lose-lose situation, because we're, like, say you love being an artist, for example. They don't make anything. And on top of that, as we know in the diamond painting community, people steal their images all the time. And who has the money or time to take them to court? Uh, nobody. You know? And it's like, they love to draw, they love to paint, whatever it may be but yet you can't make it a living off it i mean or most of the time you can't i mean i'm sure so it just sucks i like i wish we lived in a world <laughs> if i had it my way to where we could just do what we loved and not have to worry about being rich or poor and like i know so many rich people that are miserable as hell and i've i've actually been married i've been married to a millionaire okay my ex-husband's a millionaire and i left his ass because yeah, I got to have whatever I wanted. I had brand new cars. I got to go shopping at Nordstrom every day. But I was the most miserable person on earth. And he made me feel this where this big. You know, he always humiliated me. And always made me feel less than. And yeah, I'm good, bro. Like, <laughs> keep you, your money and everything else. Like, I, after I left him, I never felt so not only proud of myself that I had ever felt in my life. Like, I felt so proud of me for once not only did i feel that but i felt liberate what's it called liberated i don't know the word you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> i hope so but i just felt free you know like wow like i may not have money but i'm not being controlled anymore i'm not being humiliated and like put down all the time you know like and i would rather be living in a shack i mean clearly i pretty much almost live in a shack with someone i love and yeah, it sucks struggling. It sucks being broke. And I mean, we might get evicted, dude. Like, we're behind on rent and everything. But at the same time, I don't care. Because I've had it worse. I've been through worse. And I'm with someone I love who I know is going to have my back. And vice versa. And to me, that's all that matters in life. You know? Like, but that's just me. Some people do only care about money and having money and having nice things. But I learned a long time ago that money literally does not buy happiness. And you won't know that until you actually go through that situation, you know? But it definitely does help. <laughs> definitely does help being happy, but it doesn't buy happiness. Um, 
let's see what else what I answer okay what did you rather answer? okay what's the first thing you look for in a partner or friend um, first thing that comes to my mind is humor like we can't be friends if you can't take a joke because I am a smart ass I love to joke around all the time you know like and that is always how I fall in love with like boy or like a boyfriend or whatever like like if you can't make me laugh a lot or immediately yeah it's not happening bro like that's what got me to start liking Sammy actually when we met because me and him would always the whole time we'd hang out every time we'd hang out we'd be laughing the whole time and like you make me laugh I'm a sucker for laugh like laughing laughter yeah if you're a class clown like I'm usually gonna be asking for your number no I'm just kidding <laughs> seriously though and as a friend too like a girlfriend or whatever home girl like you gotta be able to take a joke you gotta be able to joke around and you gotta have like you know just a fun like I don't like serious people I don't like people that are negative all the time like go away life's too short you know so yeah definitely humor um how can someone lose your trust oh that's easy just lie to me Lie to me or don't keep your word. Prove, like, mean what you say, say what you mean. And I'm not talking about, like, okay, guys, you know, when someone says, Jessica, you shouldn't be with him, he's cheating on you, and then she goes and cheats on, or, you know, then she goes and beats with someone like that. I'm talking about a friend that cheats on her. Okay, I'm not talking about, like, stuff like that. I'm talking about, to me personally, like, don't lie to me personally or don't tell me you're going to do something and then go and not do it, but yet do it for someone else or something, like, it's like almost a form of betrayal to me like yeah so don't be a liar because this is one of my favorite quotes and this is so true I'd rather hear an ugly truth than a pretty lie you feel me so yeah if you're gonna lie or not keep your word with me then we aren't gonna be friends anymore <laughs> um, do you believe in astrology why or why not absolutely and I mean hello if the the most intelligent ancient civilizations that have been on this planet believed in astrology then I'm gonna believe in astrology I mean and I don't care like what it's like oh they manipulate it to have it you know make you think it's true like no dude it's so true like what they say about your sign like and I mean all the constellations and everything this whole universe galaxies the planet everything is around the stars in the universe like there's reasons for everything and dude the Mayans were on that shit too like come on there's a reason for that there's always gonna be a little bit of truth in any myth or legend or or you know whatever it may be um, so yeah absolutely I believe in astrology I think it's badass too I'm so glad we have it because it's really fun to me too and it's really really interesting um, so yes what was let's see is that the one I wanted to answer do you believe in life in other planets? Uh, duh. I mean, have you been around? I'm obsessed with aliens. I love them. I watch ancient aliens. And plus, there's way too many. Did you guys know, by the way, fun fact real quick. In 2020, when we had the pandemic, um, there was more UFO sightings and reportings ever in America. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, so random. But um, yes, definitely. Um, because the government just finally admitted that there is what they call them UAPs uh, unexplained aerial phenomena basically UFOs they just don't want to admit it um, and I love how like they they won't tell you yeah by the way sorry we lied but they they'll tell you um, what, what do they say they won't tell you that they've been lying to us the whole, this whole time about the UFO thing it's all been you know weather balloons supposedly so they won't admit that they've lied but they'll tell you we don't know what it is okay isn't that unexplained like I'm confused make up your freaking mind like yeah it's just crazy to me but yes all of a sudden the government and the Navy is admitting it on the news like oh we saw UFOs like oh wait I thought they didn't exist I thought you called people crazy because UFOs weren't real like you know what I'm saying it's just like <sighs> the audacity of the government but anyways okay so um if you could go back to any time in history, where would you go? I would go, for sure, speaking of ancient civilizations, back to Egypt, dude. 
back to like the King Tut days, man. Like, I what I would give to see what those like statues and monuments and tombs and pyramids looked like back then. Could you imagine? I mean, I can't even imagine seeing it now in person. Like going there and actually being able to see it. Oh, I wish I could do that before I die. That'd be sick. But like, dude, I'm so that or like same with the Mayans, you know, like or the Aztecs with their pyramids and stuff. Like. I swear they don't get enough credit than what they deserve like geniuses man the mayans are freaking geniuses or they were whatever um do you hit the snooze button or wake up immediately um the snooze button what what snooze button yeah i like to i like to try and act like that happens but when the snooze button goes off i turn it off and go straight back to sleep like it never happened i'm terrible i'm so bad i have to set like five alarms dude because Thank God for Sammy always being cracked out all the time. Not literally, but, you know, he's always up and at him. Like, we'll go to bed at 3 in the morning, and then all of a sudden he's awake at 7. Oh, I, got, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Like, you know what? I'm about to slap you. You better shut up and get the hell out of here before I freaking kick you out of this house right now, dude. Because <laughs> I am not a morning person, man. Go away. I got three hours of sleep. Even if it was ten hours of sleep, it's the same answer, but still. Like, yeah, definitely, um hit the snooze button multiple times. Okay, I'm gonna answer like a few more questions and then I'm gonna log off here, um, or log off. What is this, like AOL? <laughs> I'm gonna get off the camera and film the next clip tomorrow, okay, you guys? Cause Sammy's about to be home soon. Um, so the other question I'm gonna answer is, would you rather have your dishes or clothes be magically clean? Clothes, I hate doing laundry. I mean, it'd be different if I had my own washer and dryer in my house. I would do laundry all day. But I like doing dishes. I know that sounds really weird, but I really do like doing dishes. Like, it's therapeutic for me. Like, I zone out, and like, when I'm really upset or stressed out or like, try not to cry, I always go straight to the sink and start doing dishes. It's so weird. I've always done it, though. But yeah, so definitely I'd rather have my clothes magically clean than my dishes, because I like doing dishes, as weird as that sounds. Um, when making a PB and J sandwich, do you put on the peanut butter or jelly first? <laughs> That's such a random question. I never really thought of it though. Like, I've always put the peanut butter on first. Do you guys put the peanut butter or jelly on first? I want to know. Put it in the comments. Which ones do you guys put on first? Like, and does it, like, do you alternate it? Like, because I've always put the peanut butter on first. So freaking weird. That's a weird question. Kind of stupid, but it is, it is weird when you think about it. Like, or at least for me, it, it was weird. Like, Huh, ever since I was a kid, I put on the peanut butter first. <laughs> uh, okay, next one. Um, what was your worst job? Oh gosh. Okay, I'll answer this one, then I gotta go. Um, at least until I film the next clip. <laughs> My worst job ever was Victoria's Secret. When I was 18, I moved to Texas. I was gonna start going to community college down there. But I had missed the, like, you know, the sign-up date or whatever. I was, like, late. I didn't go there till like, September or something. So I got a job at Victoria's Secret, and I hated it because we had to make this, like, commission amount. It was, like, you know how they sell credit cards there at that store if you've ever been to Victoria's Secret? How they always, when you get to the register, they always try to sell you a credit card or get you to get a credit card from them or apply. Dude, I hated it. And they wouldn't make us do it. Like, if we didn't have at least a few people sign up a day, we literally, like, get bitched at pretty much and like I got to a point where I didn't even care I wouldn't even offer because I was like I don't give a shit I hate this job you know like and I'd always like you'd get like points in the system or like to where you'd move up in the job and like dude I was like nope not doing it because I hate it when people do it to me like I literally can't stand when like retail people do it and I know like like in my case they do it because they the, the manager wants them to or ask them to do it like they kind of have to type thing but since I hate when people do it to me I'm not gonna do it to them like so I just be like, screw you. If you fire me over a credit card, like, then buy. Like, I'll just work at freaking Tilly's next door, you know? Like, <laughs> but yeah, I hated working at Victoria's Secret. I hated folding underwear all day. I hate how they would always get mad at me because I wouldn't be able to sell a credit card to people. Like, I don't know. And this is like before online was like, this is in 2005. So, I mean, they did have like where you could apply online, but it was still more common to do it like in the store and stuff or in the mail, like as funny as that sounds right now but yeah you guys can't even see what i'm doing i'm so sorry so yeah victoria's secret hated it only worked there for like a month and a half and then quit um 
Would you rather always say everything that goes in your mind or never speak a word again? Okay, that's the last question I'm going to answer for now. Um, I would rather speak what's on my mind, which I pretty much do anyways, um, than never speak again because I've been, I lived my life for a short period of time. Well, actually, it didn't seem short. It was about a couple years, but to where I was not able to say what I wanted to say and felt like I felt like I was suffocating, you know, like because I couldn't, I didn't have the courage to stand up for myself. So, I, and I'm still the type to always keep things in. Like when I'm hurting or upset, I just stuff it all in and then I explode later, which sucks. It's not good to do that. But, you know, if so, that's, that's when it's like comes to like gnarly shit. Like when I'm fighting with Sammy or something, like I know it's better for me to not say anything because if I say something, I'm going to totally regret it type thing in the moment. But like when it comes to like sticking up for people or myself or, or, you know, you have to speak up because if you don't, who will? No one's going to do it for you. And you never know. You're, you may live your life, you know, saying, what if? What if I did say something? Would have been different? Would my life have been different? Like, so yeah, I would definitely rather say everything that was on my mind than never speak again. Screw that. Like, no thank you. Plus, I like talking. Talking and laughing and screaming, yelling, crying, making noise is fun. I mean, what, I have to be silent my whole life? No. Why if I don't have to? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why did I choose this question? I'm just playing you guys. By the way, yes. Pretty Placers Wax Gems. Awesome. Love it. If you like wax and not it more, if you like wax more than putty, get it. It is awesome. It, I only refilled it twice, dude. I don't think I've ever done that with wax before um, that I can remember. And this one smells really good if they have it again. McDonald's Sweet Tea. Bomb! But yeah, so I'm going to wrap this video up for right now. So I might post this one up and then do another, like a part three, I guess. Um, so I can finish off the rest of the questions for you guys. I'm sorry I had to cut this short. This video might be a little long anyway, since I had the little clip up front, but oh, why am I turning that on? I meant to unplug it. So yeah, I'm sorry you guys, but I hope you guys all have a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be. And um, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. And um, I will be posting, oh, the agenda real quick for videos is obviously this one, the diamond painting pen sash I posted the other day or last night, whatever. Um, I'm going to be doing a diamond painting tool must-haves that I'm, that I'm going to post and I'm going to do the other uh, part three, probably whip and chat. And I'm also going to be doing another one, which is a surprise. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much to all my viewers and all my subscribers. You guys are the best. And I will see you next time. Bye.